everybody, it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm here to do a little bit of jelly printing today and I thought I'd just take you along for the ride. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have done jelly pr printing uh, videos, but I just thought I'd take you for the ride and show you my process, my messy process, okay? First off, I'm going to show you I have on my work table a soapy bin of water, okay? it's I use Murphy's Oil Soap. You can find it in any grocery store pretty much or Target sells it here in the United States. I don't know about other countries if Murphy's Oil Soap is uh, sold there, so I really don't know um, where you could find it but it works great at getting paint off of stencils. If you soak it overnight, you basically, it just kind of dissolves the paint off of there. So it works really, really well um, for that. So just as a some advice there, and I know that Gina Ahrens has a, a YouTube video on um, how to clean your brushes using Murphy's Oil Soap. And I use Mur I've been using Murphy's Oil Soap for a long time as well to clean off my brushes. It's a great multi-purpose cleaner. I use it to clean my floors with. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of other purposes for Murphy's Oil Soap. So anyhow, I'm using my eight and a half, whoops. I'm sorry guys, I'm my camera is running out of juice and so I've had to plug it into uh, into the power thing to charge it back up but it keeps coming unplugged sorry guys if I'm shaking you guys around okay so I've got my jelly plate out I've got the eight and a half by eleven I believe it is I have a bigger jelly plate the the largest size which I think is eleven by fourteen and today I didn't want to use that. I wanted to use a smaller version. And I'm going to be using some Americana paints by Deco Art. I'm going to use some of the neons. See how these work on using jelly plating with them. Um, I like these neons a lot because all other craft paints that I've used in the neons are not as opaque. These are opaque. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started and just enjoy my process. I'm going to use some of the traditions also. I'm going to use a little bit of medium beige, just out of curiosity, see how this works with this. I'm just playing around with the jelly plate, okay? So just enjoy my process. I'll probably speed up through this part. And so I'm going to be doing some backgrounds just to um, Kind of, uh, yeah. You'll see what I'm going to do with these backgrounds later. line going where I clip my uh, jelly printed things to dry. They tend to dry quicker if I hang them up and they don't get stuck together with each other so it kind of helps them to dry quicker. So I hung that one up and then I'm going to come back in and do some more here. Some more backgrounds. And I'm not too worried about this going on. I'm not going to clean it. In between, I'm just going to keep going. OK, 
Okay. And if it lifts it up in the print, I don't care. I'm not going to care too much. And I'm using all of these neons colors in here too. Kind of spruce it up a little. I like bright colors. I really like bright colors. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, cool. Very nice. Very nice for what I want to do with this. I may pull up two or three of these backgrounds. Okay. Putting one more down. Let's move this book out of the way. I was going to use this book, but I've decided I don't want to use it. I'm going to be using these kind of things to clean off my... So what I do is I take the jelly plate printed paper, you know, the jelly, the deli paper I use on the jelly print, <laughs> and uh, then I put a piece of paper on top of it so that I can, while I'm rolling to pick up the print, because um, I just kind of roll it, I clean off my, my, um, what you call it? What do you call these? whatchamacallit. It's not coming today. The word is not coming. So there's the print. Pretty cool. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to hang this one up. looking for some true gold. like I don't really need a whole lot with the decor paints. They go pr pretty far here. Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do blue this time, I think. I'm 
going to try a little bit of different color, not just the uh, fluorescent colors. I'm going to add some boysenberry. So I use the Americana, whoops, Americana boysenberry. And oh, stupid. I haven't had to use the soapy water just yet because I'm just making the backgrounds right now. Okay. I picked up really well. See that? Pretty cool. Didn't pick up real well, but hey, not bad. So I'm gonna use that for a cleaner one. Sometimes I do that. Okay, so add some different more different colors here. I'm gonna use the titanium white and the Deco Art um, Traditions paints. And I'm gonna use some of the back to the neons. This time I'm going to, after, before I do that, I'm going to add, I got, uh, when I went to Gina Aarons' house a couple weekends ago I went, or last weekend actually, um, she was so sweet, she gave each and every one of us some of these uh, things, I think they're cut off, cut up mats of, for something. So I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one here. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute before I lift it up. Oh, cool. So cool. Look at that. Since it worked out well, I'm going to put some more here and I'm going to put another one here. Okay. I'm just going to let it. Look, it even marked my hand. Cool. <laughs> I love playing with jelly plates. I mean, I tell you, it is addicting. Very addicting. So I'm going to use the same one that I used to pick up with that last print. I'm just going to put it over like this. And then I'm going to take my cleanup paper and I'm just going to go over it. This is from a photograph I was messing with. The flowers you saw in the beginning, I was messing with it. Um, on my, um, uh, what you call it, on my um, computer. I had taken this picture of these flowers that you saw earlier, and yeah, I was messing with it on the computer, and I printed it one out. Not bad. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It left some markings. See, cool. Okay, so this one's gonna get hung up.
not real wild about that one, but hey, it's experimenting. Okay, I'm using this one. This pink one, baby pink. some titanium white with the jelly prints in a little bit so just bear with me okay
Oh, that's there. There we go. That should look pretty good. to be printed on. Okay. While I do that, then I just lay another one over it and I clean it as well, front and back. kind of shows up like that. And then I'm going to pull for the tag. Oh, nice. The heart. And just a leftover piece of watercolor paper, which picks up quite a bit. I love the texture that watercolor paper leaves with this, the pulling the jelly prints off those. Makes it really, really cool. Okay, so let's see next. I'm gonna pull up a few more. Let's see what I get from the leftover of this one. I can get any left over. Sometimes when you get down and in the summer things dry a lot faster so yeah you got to move pretty quick because if you don't the paint just blues dries really fast on the jelly print but it's great because to do it in the summer versus in the winter because the jelly prints uh, dry much faster so you can do other things to them. And I'll show you what I do with mine in a little bit. Yeah, that one didn't pick up very well, but that's okay.
Well, that picked up some of the pinks and stuff from the earlier prints. Well, that's pretty cool. I like when it does that. Jelly printing can be experimental. I love when I can get prints that it just looks so different from the ones I've pulled before. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I do with my backgrounds. I'm gonna pause a minute while I get stuff I need for the backgrounds. Okay, so for this, I need to clean my plate first because I don't want this to pick up the one, the stuff from before. So I just take a little bit of water, spray on the water, and then I take a baby wipe and I just clean off the excess. It comes off so easy. And if you're having issues, then add a little bit of baby oil and, or mineral oil and that will get it off, clean it off even better. But for now I'm just doing a quick clean up, quick clean of the jelly plate for the next process. And yeah, just give me a minute here. And then I'm going to get my paper towel and I'm going to dry it a little bit. Get some of the excess off of it. Yeah, there we go. And if you're good about cleaning your jelly plate, you know, in, be, uh, in between, uh, you know, uses, uh, then you will have, the jelly plate will last a lot longer for you than if you were to just kind of not clean it really well. And I kind of, I'm kind of OCD about that. I do clean my jelly plate really good. After all, they are pretty expensive. I've seen the how-to videos on how to make them. And to me, it's just too much work. So, yeah, I'm lazy that way. All right, so what I'm going to do, it's called a masking technique. You take a stencil. Okay. I just got to make sure. And this one's from Deco Arts. This is the Andy Skinner line. I do not remember the name of this one. Unfortunately, I threw <laughs> it somewhere around here. And I really can't grab it right now to give you the name of it. So I'm going to go ahead and... Trying to figure out if I want to use that one or if I have a bigger one. Do I have a bigger one for background print? Yeah, I'll try this one. This is a new one. I haven't used this one yet. Um, and let's see, I know I have another face one somewhere that I could use. Perhaps. I thought I did. I guess this is the only one I have. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. I'll show you how I'm going to use this. So I'm going to put it down here. Usually I probably should have used my bigger jelly plate, but today I just didn't feel like using it. Okay, so I'm going to put it down, and I think I'm going to put it down this way because that side is sticking out a little bit. Okay, so do it this way. Now I'm just going to get like a half print of one of them. Okay, so I'll just put it across like that. And then I'm going to choose whatever color I want to use for this one. And I think I'm going to use this shading flesh tone one from Americana, and I got to open it because I haven't used this one yet. And I usually add it to the outer side first, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of this pink highlight flesh.
go across the rest like that okay and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this one that I did and I'm gonna leave the stencil on here I'm gonna put it on okay like this and I'm gonna get my clean clean up what paper And I clean up my brayer and roll at the same time and then I come back in and I do a little bit better here so that it really picks it up. Hopefully it'll pick it up the way I want it to pick up. Okay. The moment of truth. Can please work? Eh. No, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. You can kind of see the eyes, but I probably should have used a darker color. But that's okay. That's called experimenting. So I can let this dry and then I could go back in and do it again. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use a darker color and a different color. And I'll use it on this one. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try the purple. This time I'm just going to go over it, see if that works better. It's worked before for me, but I'm not, I haven't used these Andy Skinner stencils yet for the for jelly printing, so I don't know if it'll work out the way I want it to. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Never mind, dummy. Duh, I do have to remove the stencil. Sorry, guys. It was my, my mistake. Okay, so I'm removing it. Oh, so cool. Okay, so it did leave some of the color I used before on the back of it. So that's awesome. Okay, so put this one down carefully and then smooth it out. And make sure you rub really well over that area so that it picks it all up. And then I'm going to take my cleaning paper, just rub over it again. Okay. And then I'm going to lift it, and hopefully this time it worked. And yes, it did. So it did work. There you go. My face is sort of. And it kind of makes it gives it a cool look. Okay. So there's that one, and then I can pick up another. Whoops! I can pick up another um, print off of that one in a second here, and I quickly hang this one up to dry. All right, so next, we'll pick this one up. I'm looking for another one here that I can use. Do it right about here. And now with the other stent with the stencil that I used here, see it? That's all dirty. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to use my brayer and kind of just roll it along here. And it sort of leaves a print of something. And then I put it in my soapy water to soak. that one picked up pretty well too. See? There's the face. Alright. Okay, so this time I'm using a tree. Cool. 
I need to move that oh. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna pick up, pick this up carefully. Lift it. There we go. Okay. And take this, put it down carefully. Kind of rub it in. Okay. Then take this, put this down on the paper to, to roll it dry and use the excess off of here. It'll just leave a cool print, sort of, maybe. If things don't go flying around here, because I've got my fan on, it's real it's kind of warm today. Not horrifically hot, but it's warm. So I'm lifting this piece up, yeah, and it left kind of an imprint. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now, lift this one up, and this is what I get. Because of using that background, this is what I get. So kind of a two-step step process. Okay, and this one's going to, I'm going to hang this one up to dry. I picked up before. Okay, so this one, I could probably pick up another print off of this one. So I'm going to take one that I want. This one here. Oh, come on, stay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we've got papers kind of wanting, oops, wrong side, wanting to slide around. me somewhat of a print. Yes, it did. Yeah, cool. There you go. You have it a little bit of that. Alright, so I'm going to put this down and this down and hopefully it's going to work because I already have stuff on here. So we'll see if it works. I hope it does. So there we go, and then I'm going to take the paint that I want to use, and I'm trying to fit it up here. I'm going to use the pink. No, actually, I'm going to use the blue neon. Or hang on, I think I have some other blues I'm going to try. Bahama blue. I like this color a lot. And I'm going to use a little white. Where's the white? Here's the white. I'm going to roll it over these. I have to be really careful that I don't lift them up like I did with the tree a little bit. Sometimes they can, the glare will lift it up. So I've done that. Now I gotta lift these up. Good print. That's gonna make a really good print. Okay. And lift this one up. That should make also make a good print. And this next one. It's good to have long fingernails for this, so you can pick them up pretty good. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna take one of the ones that I did here that I really like for this one. 
one of these. I like this one. <laughs> okay. So I'm putting it down like this. Except that's not going to pick up. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to get my pick up paper, clean up paper. And this is what I get. Is that cool or what? I probably should have, yeah, put more butterflies down, but I didn't. But that's okay. It looks really cool. So that's going to be set aside to dry because I'm running out of uh, hanging things, spaces. All right, now, let's see if I can just clean this one up. So my clean paper. And no, it's already dried, so that's okay. All right, so next, I'm going to go back in with these. I like these shapes. They make really cool borders. My friend Tibby sent me these from England. She designed these on her silhouette cameo. Her cameo silhouette, however you say it. And... I love to use them with my, for my jelly printing. They're supposed to be borders, but I use it, have been using it for this. So I'm going to just have the purple in. I don't like to waste any paint. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting them all over here. Okay. Did that. I'm going to take, um, let's see. I think I'm going to take this one here. Oops, I know what I did wrong. Hang on, I can save it, I can save it. Okay, because I didn't push down too hard yet. So pull that up. Set this aside. I can't soak these because they're paper. And they just get thicker and thicker with paint later on. So I use them more. I got paint on my arm, see? It's a messy job, but somebody's, uh, you can't see it, but you can see my hands. They're dirty. They're fun. Okay, so next, let's put this one down. And I'm going to get my clean off, clean off paper right here. All right. And I'm going to rub it out here a little bit and lift it and see what I've got. See what it does here. Very cool. See the shapes on it? Move something over it in a minute. And let's see what else I have here that I can use for masking stuff here. Okay, I've got another Unless we'll put some designs down too while I put this on here. That one there. This one here. Whoops, this one like this. Put these up here somewhere. Okay. And I'm going to do more of this color here. I love this color. I'm going to mix it with a different color this time. Oops. 
a little too much paint. You really don't need a whole lot of paint for this. I have to be careful. Yeah, see, I just lifted that one up too, and where did it go? Right over on top of here. See if I can lay it now. I'll just leave it. Okay. All right, so next I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to lay this one down again. Whoops, hang on. I've got to take these off. Sometimes I forget to take them off, and that's why I'm not getting what I need here. Oops. Oh, well, that'll give me time. Okay. So I'm pulling these off, okay, and then I'm going to put this one down flat. I'm going to rub, rub a dub dub, three minute a cut, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, sorry. I know, I'm weird. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so next, I'm going to... The excess. Even my my clean off paper. Look how pretty that looks. Look at all the texture. Unfortunately, the camera is not picking it all up, but oh, it's so cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this one off, and look at that. Et voila! Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yep, so that's the kind of things you can do with these backgrounds. And I'm going to do another background here. I'm going, I'll be right back. I'm going to open up another stencil. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So I'm using, grab it. It would help to be organized, but I'm never really that organized. Okay, it is Andy Skinner's Serendipity. Hure, hure azar. Okay, that's what that's called. Okay, and... Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this down right about there. Okay, and I'm going to get some of my papers like this. This one here, I think I'm going to use for this one. Um, and I'm going to take the gold. I really like the gold a lot. And I'm just going to use gold this time. I'm just going to use the gold. Just gonna take it over like this, and then I'm gonna roll it again. Hopefully, I have enough paint for this. Pull it. Oh, come on, work. And it worked really well. Okay. And now I'm going to take the paper. I'm going to put it this way, this direction, and lay it down, and hopefully it will work. And lift it well. This is what I pulled up. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Except it's backwards. <laughs> I should have put it down the other way. Oh well. It still looks good. Okay. So now that I know that I put it on backwards, I should have put it upside down for it to go the other way. Yep. Okay. That's all right. Okay. So now I'm going to clean off my brayer again. And put down my this so that it goes down well. Okay. Oh, 
it did another print. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So cool. Okay. So now I'm going to do the next one here. So this time remember to put it upside down. This way. Okay. Now I'm going to use the gold again for this. Maybe we'll get it going the right way this time, don't you think? Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. that one down and then I'm going to get my cleaning I need another cleaning thing I need, I need another cleaning page because I liked what I did last time on that so I just pick up when I go to places like I shop at REI which is a sporting goods store um, and they have all these like things of for events and things and I always pick one up because it makes a good cleaning page and I usually use this on my bigger jelly uh, jelly plate because it is a big piece of paper for cleanup, but this will have to do for now. So I just put it down and clean up my brayer. And just make sure that I get a good print. And this is what I got this time because I didn't take off the the uh, thing. But this time it worked. It's not backwards anymore. Cool. It's not backwards anymore. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna hang this one up. Try. So basically, you can do your background. Okay. Do a background pull. You know, print let it dry then you can do two or three or four different steps to add more color and more interest to your papers so it isn't like you know yeah it isn't like you have to just do one one pull you could do several pulls using different types of papers I mean different types of paints and techniques pull these up so yeah it's really cool very very cool I'm lifting this one up and this is what I got oh that looks so oh, I love it okay others to pull up here. So I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to use a different, a different one this time. Okay, Gina Aarons gave me these when I went to see her. I'm going to be putting up a video of my vi visit with her in a little while, and she's also putting one up. I don't know when, but she'll be putting one up. So I'm going to put this one down here like this, and I think this time I'm going to use my turquoise. And well, it's not really turquoise, it's a Bahama blue. And I'm going to put down, I don't know what she's done here. You've got de desert turquoise, that'll look good. And then I think I might have have a, a lemony green somewhere. Oh, yeah, I did forget about this one. I forgot about the neon green. It's called thermal green. Oh, yeah, cool. This will be great. So I'm 
just going to do this area here. Well, actually, I'm deciding now. I'm going to just pull it all the way out. Because I really like it. I like this color. The colors I pulled on this one. This is going to look nice. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to put this one down like this, flat. Just like that. And then I'm going to get my cleanup paper on top and use my brayer to clean up my stuff just like that and then lift this one up Let's see how we got how it looks and get this looks really cool see how that looks really cool with that background I did so yeah, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of my jelly printing adventure and I shall see you next time. Toodles, bye. Thanks for watching.